hello everyone welcome back and thanks for joining me today i'm going to be doing my backyard it's all about cleaning and decorating this is going to be a two-part series the first one is more about cleaning trimming the plants and do a little bit diy on the backyard and then second one is more of the decorating show you some few videos and pictures and how we transform our backyard and um showing you how the entire backyard looks like so i got my hats on gloves and mask let me do and start cleaning the backyard <laughs> so even at the backyard i want it all nice and neat and organized call me crazy but that's how i am so first thing i need to trim all of those plants at the back where the wall is because i want them not to be so tall and looking so wild like that so i need to trim them all the way from here all the way to the end of the corner but before i do anything i have to secure this plant that's here on the table and this was made by my friend and she make a very beautiful arrangement of succulent and i have this for a very long time and when it started to grow, she even rearranged it and gifted it to me on my birthday. Aside from their small business called Lorna Abel Personalized Gift that I did promote on one of my video called Cozy Living Spaces. This is her first love and her first business called Blessed Sake. And I even ordered and gifted it to some of my friends and families. So everyone, if you're interested and wanted to order, you can reach her. She has an Instagram page called Blessed Sake. She makes such a very beautiful arrangement and you won't get disappointed. Windows down, scattered clouds smell of spring outside open road you sit in clothes let's go somewhere far away cause if I'm not here is you and I'm just fine Okay guys, that is quite a workout, but I'm sure my arms are going to hurt tonight. But before that happens, I have, I still have a lot of stuff to do in the backyard. But first, let me clean up the leaves first and then use my blower to make my life easier. down scattered clouds smell of spring outside open road you sit in close let's go somewhere far away cause if all I have is you then I'll be just fine
Okay, so I'm done cleaning the top slope or where the slope is. I just need to clean the bottom one. More cleaning, but it's too hot. So I'm just going to wait for the sun to go down a little bit and I'm going to continue cleaning it. Okay, everyone. So I already start cleaning and picking up all the leaves or some of the leaves on the ground. But this time I need to remove the rocks here. And he has the one on both sides of the garden as well as the artificial turf that's here on the ground. Because this artificial turf is different kind or a different brand from the one that we use on the slope. So I need to change that and I'm still thinking on what to replace on it. But I think uh, we have a few or leftover of the artificial turf that we use on the slope. So I'm going to use some of those things. So when I started putting these rocks from the beginning, it was so nice to look at. But over time, it just attracts some dirt and the old leaves in it. And it's so hard to clean it, um, especially maintaining it. And sometimes I have to remove individually or all of these rocks in order for me to clean this place. Just this small area, but I cannot do that on a regular basis so I have to start removing it right now. Okay so I'm done removing all the rocks on the edges of the garden and now it's time for me to pull out the artificial turf but it will take me time it's not that easy to pull it out because it has this old pin that's in there and this pin is the one that's making this artificial turf to be in place so whenever I ha encounter this thing there I have to pull it out with a pro bar. <laughs> It's been a while since I left. Nobody knows where I went. But I think I found my place. Don't worry, I'm doing just fine. Out in the islands where the time goes a little more my pace. I've been floating coast to coast, Bahamas to Puerto Rico. It don't matter if I'm lost because I know when I'm with you, I'm home. When I'm with you, I'm home. Just riding waves, cause I know no matter where the tide goes, the sun is on my face. <laughs> that is quite a workout so this is one down i think i got four more to go <laughs> okay i've been floating coast to coast from cuba to mexico it don't matter if i'm lost because i know when i'm with you i'm I'm with you, I'm home yeah. And I'm with you, I'm home And I'm with you, I'm home It don't matter if I'm lost because I know It's been a while since I left Nobody knows where I went But I think I found my place Don't worry, I'm doing just fine Out in the so I'm done removing our old turf and I'm going to reuse the turf that we used like an area rug for our outdoor dining table. And this is the same turf that we use on the upper garden. So 
So I just measured and then turned the turf upside down and I need three feet width of the turf so I need to cut this. So I was able to cut the turf, cut two pieces of the three weed that I need, and then there's an extra two feet, and I'm gonna figure out what to do with the extra one because we're on a tight budget here, and I don't want to waste anything. So I did lay down my turf already so what you're gonna do when you cut your turf and you notice the other turf is goes on one direction so when you need to connect the cut pieces of the turf it goes to one direction as well and when you try to connect them what you need to do is move all the grass and then try to overlap with the other one And then I use this hook. It's a half inch universal loop stake. So it's like a U shape. So what you have to do is like after you move the side or the edge of the turf, then move each of the the turf so you, you can see the plastic in there then make sure you see the other plastic also on the other side and then make sure that when you position the hook it's touching the other side touching the other turf and the other side touching the other turf as well so you'll be able to connect that and then just hammer it down and what's once it's hammered you just move the grass so that it's gonna be seamless and there you go hello everyone so it's the next day and this time we're gonna do the edging landscape and this is the one that i've been using and you can use this or buy this on individual pieces or you can buy it like as a kit so this one comes with a different length and you can buy it from home depot or lowe's and i had this for a while because i've been using it to a lot of our landscape from the front yard side yard and backyard as you can see here i've used it with the transition from my artificial turf and like the plastic mulch mat underneath the tree so that's what i'm using right now on the edge of the artificial turf that i use on the ground because i'm using a different type of landscape there it's very useful you just have to cut it in size that you need and then you can like bend it um, depending on what type of landscape or you need to do okay so i already cut and placed the edge in where i want them to be placed and then i anchor it with the plastic nails that comes with the kit it looks like this this is how long it is it's hard plastic so i all i need to do is just hammer down these plastic nails all the way to the soil or where the soil is 
and then move the turf around the nail so that it's going to camouflage the nails in there so i'm just going to complete this and i'll show you the next step for my um landscape okay now i'm done and finish putting the edging here on my back here let me show you the next material that i'm going to be using for my backyard project so the one that i'm going to be using right now is the decomposed granite and as well as this stepping stone which is a 12 by 12 size and both of this product i bought it from home depot it's been a while since i left nobody knows where i went but i think i found my place don't worry i'm doing just fine out in the islands where the time goes a little more my pace i've been floating coast to coast bahamas to puerto rico it don't matter if I'm lost because I know when I'm with you I'm home. When I'm with you I'm home. Just riding waves cause I know no matter where the tide goes, the sun is on my face. Searching for treasures in my mind I know I'll find it Cause the islands are showing me the way I've been floating coast to coast From Cuba to Mexico It don't matter if I'm lost Because I know When I'm with you I'm I'm with you, I'm home yeah. And I'm with you, I'm home And I'm with you, I'm home It don't matter if I'm lost because I know It don't matter if I'm lost because I know with you, okay so i laid down some of my decomposed granite i still have to complete it from here to the other side as well and as well in the middle part some some on the middle part where the turf is and i've used this decomposed granite for quite a while use it where the slope is where the stairs are as well as the front yard i find this material very easy to maintain and easy on the budget so I discover or I find out that when you put this in, you have to use like a tamper to like press the, uh, the soil hard and then wet it, then press it again. And that's what I'm going to be doing and completing all of this and then show you some more steps that I'm going to be doing here on the back here okay everyone so i'm finished putting the composite planet and the next one will be putting this plastic rock or a decorative plastic rock that i bought from amazon it's hollow inside it can be used as decorative piece as well as to cover whatever you want it to cover on your landscape and this one i purposely bought this for this this pipe so all I have to do is put it here. And basically that's it. I'm not even going to put the nails to make it permanent because we still need to, to access that pipe there. So it's just going to stay that way. And it's been there for a while and it's been working even though I don't have to like nail it on the ground okay everyone so this is what we did just trim those plants up there on the slope clean the slope and there's our composite granite where i place the stepping stone as well as the turf 
and there's that two inches extra that I have and I just decided to place it in the middle and because it's just two inches I think we I just place some composite granite for now but most probably we'll be planting some spring flowers on that vacant um, ground and that's it until to that end or edge of the backyard garden that was really a long day for me but anyway guys i did not brought you any more because um for the other stuff that i need to do here in my backyard it's more of cleaning and just removing the weeds here in my backyard and i guess that's it for the part one for my backyard spring diy and cleaning project i'll see you on the part two for my backyard tour which is mostly I'm going to show you how we transform our backyard with some few clips of videos and pictures and then more on decorating, more on fun stuff. And I'll tell you the story how we transform our backyard, tour you around. And I guess that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you had fun watching me do the simple DIY that I did. I don't even know if it's a simple DIY. It looks like it's not even this a simple diy but anyway i hope you had fun please share like and subscribe and hit that notification bell that way you get to be notified whenever i post some videos here on my youtube channel see you next week guys bye